While Earth has more than 1,300 active volcanoes, it is not the only celestial body within the solar system which has active volcanism. For example, Jupiter's silver-covered moon Io contains several hundred shield volcanoes, sometimes producing eruptions which send lava fountains and ash into space. In contrast, Mars from a volcanic perspective is traditionally thought of as a dead planet. The most notable volcanic feature on Mars is Olympus Mons, which covers an area the size of France and stands at 25 kilometers or 16 miles in height. Its last caldera-forming eruption occurred 140 million years ago. However, more recent evidence has suggested that this volcano produced another smaller eruption a mere 2.4 million years ago. Then, in 2020, a far younger volcanic deposit was spotted. In a different section of the planet, a large ash deposit was spotted adjacent to a fissure system which was dated as young as 53,000 years in age. This deposit covers 217 square kilometers of ground containing two discernible layers. The inner and darker layer represents pyroclastic flow deposits formed when the eruption column collapsed downwards, releasing energetic currents of gas and volcanic particles. The outer and lighter layer represents an ashfall deposit where particles of volcanic ash fell after drifting from the prolonged eruption. Using a series of methods, scientists were able to estimate the total volume of these ash and pyroclastic flow deposits which gave a figure of between 0.011 and 0.028 cubic kilometers. This means that on the 0 to 8 volcanic explosivity index, the eruption had a rating of a 3 and was near identical in size to the 3.5 month long eruption of Mount Redoubt during 2009 in Alaska. Very little lava was ejected during this Martian eruption, which was presumed to have sent a column of ash to a height of 10 kilometers or 6 miles, while pyrocaustic flows reached up to 6.5 kilometers or 4 miles distant. You might see these figures and think, wait, that was only a VEI 3 eruption? The reason why these numbers sound high relates to both the low gravity on Mars, which is about one-third that of Earth, and the planet's overall thin atmosphere, which is about 0.6% that of Earth. As a result, pyroclastic flows travel three times as far, and eruption columns reach five times higher into the atmosphere. Converting these figures to what would have occurred if the same eruption happened on Earth, the numbers seem much more like those expected in a VEI-3 eruption. For context, the 36 km long fissure which produced this explosive eruption is part of a much larger system of fissures and faults which is referred to as Cerberus Fossae. In this section of Mars, the crust is inferred to be slowly spreading apart to the north and south. Any deep magma within the crust can thus potentially use these fissures as a path of least resistance, resulting in a fissure eruption on the surface. Although the exact reason why these lengthy faults exist, one model suggests that the presence of the Tharsis volcanoes to the east to be a cause. However, it is equally as likely that these fissures were created in part by a series of ancient massive dike intrusions at depth. There is additional evidence that magmatic dikes still may be present underneath the section of these faults. Cerberus Fossae is one of the most seismically active regions on Mars, and many Mars quakes behave in a manner similar to that a volcano tectonic earthquake would on Earth. Although it is unknown what triggered the basaltic fissure eruption at Cerberus Fossae sometime between 210,000 and 53,000 years ago, this age range has an interesting overlap with a prominent nearby impact crater. The Zunal crater is located 11 kilometers to the southeast of this young eruption deposit, and based on the low levels of erosion and other impact craters in its center, may have formed at the same time that the volcanic eruption occurred. Although this cannot be yet proven, it is possible that the force of the impact which created the 10 km wide impact crater jolted deep magma, causing it to rise to the surface and produce a new volcanic eruption. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my patron William Baumgartner for upgrading their support tier on this channel's Patreon.